Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is my YouTube video showing my dual 125 saltwater fish tanks. We have the reef on one side, the left side, and it is on the blue Atenix right now, and that is powered by a reef bright four bulb LED. I know that's extremely bright, but we have the lights coming on here shortly, so I wanted to post this one first. My tanks are viewable on two sides, and it's been up and running since October of 2012, so we're still a baby tank. A couple of my little inhabitants there, got a small GSP, my new things, I have a frog spawn that will be a hammer shortly, a couple of birds nests, a torch, some zoas, a couple of little things, my Duncans, I have uh, four soon soon power heads, one on each side of both tanks and they alternate every 15 minutes. And this one sounds like the impeller needs clean, but we will do that after the video. My anemone with my smoky clowns. The lights just came on above the predator tank, so we have our self in fox face longhorn cowfish who's doing great. Should start getting a little bit brighter in there here shortly, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the top of the tank, what runs them. The lights just came on over the reef. We have four 400 watt metal halides that we put together and built ourselves. My thermometer, my screen is plastic, not the metal wire. And under my tanks it's just open space with the ballast for the halides, my timers for all my lights and power heads. And while the lights are still coming on and warming up, we're going to show you the fish room. So our piping runs through the wall. And it's all labeled in case we have a leak. It goes behind the washer and dryer, comes around the corner, and into sump. It's kind of a simple sump for now, but it's our first attempt at a sump ever, so I'm kind of proud of it. Drains into the filter sock. Both of them are labeled in case I have a problem. I got my skimmer, which works like a beast. My auto top off is fairly simple still, but it drips at right about three drops a second, and that's what keeps my levels fine. My return, I've got my heaters in here. And the drain, which is really, really helpful during water changes. When I change out my filter socks, they hang up there and drain, and then they go in the bucket of bleach. So it's one good cycle that goes around every time. We'll come back in here and check out our lights. Here we go. We got the reef on the left. Got the predator on the right. And it's very open because I'm hoping to put a Cortez Stingray in here eventually. All my pretty little guys. Got my little Porky up here. If I had to do it over, I would paint the inside of these walls that join because it gets the water drips down in between and there's no way to get back there to clean it. So that is one thing that if I had known I would change that next time. There's my reef again. And in our reef we have the curly jawfish who's kind of shy when the lights come on. He'll be out eventually. Firefish. Two stupid blue damsels that don't ever ever want to get caught. There's another one. My fox face. I have a powder blue. My naso. Of course my clowns. And there's an orange spotted sleeper goby in here somewhere who keeps this sand nice and clean. 
my chromies that are actually my sister's fish so when her tank gets up and running they'll be moving over and then when the glass is a little cleaner you can see all the way through to the puffer side with the exception of the very bottom because I had a powder brown on the other side that would fight with the powder blue at the bottom of the glass. So we had to fix that. But this is my tank, my baby reef. We built pretty much everything as part of a DIY project. The wall, I mean, we built pretty much all of it. And our cost was way less than having this done, and it wasn't as difficult as you might think. It took about three months to get everything built, the doors on, the plumbing run, the tanks, and only four of these pieces was uh, live rock. The rest of it has been base rock, and it's colored up real nice. I do not dose calcium yet. I haven't dosed anything yet. And I feed, well, usually twice a day, once with flake and then once with either brine or mysis. Everything is frozen with Cellcon for vitamins. And then the side with the powder blue, he gets algae every day in the sheets because we had a huge round of ick that uh, he has seemed to pull through so far. He's putting on a little bit of weight, his color's back real well. And that was thanks to my friends and reef buddies at our Billings Montana Reef Club that we got started. I welcome any comments, questions, concerns, you know the drill. Just leave me a comment or message me either way. Got a little blurry on us there for a second. They're all hungry. They know it's breakfast time. The chocolate chip star back there in the back. There's my yellow headed sleeper that keeps the sand on this side very clean. Everyone gets along pretty well. head on this side. My return. Our drains. I'll do one more quick peep at the plumbing behind the back. It's going to get really bright for a second. We have our returns plumbed out. They're three quarter drain lines that run together to a one and a half. back down through the wall. Everything sits pretty well together. So far so good. Thanks for watching. And have a great day.